Hello guys, good day to you. Welcome to this new video. Andrew from Yellowhead Games here. Today we're going to see this video because it just popped on my home on YouTube and I said, wait a minute, oh, there is no reason to use Godot. Well, wait a minute, let's see this video. I'm a Godot enthusiastic, so I said, wait a minute, I need to be angry, I need to be upset about this video, but actually, let's see this video before we even talk about it. And I'm just kidding, obviously. Alrighty, I'm just gonna preface this by saying I don't hate Godot. Um, this isn't actually just like dissing on the engine. I'm just genuinely confused like i i don't understand what the point of godot is like and i'm not trying to like diss on the engine right now i'm just genuinely like confused what the point of using it is like i know the unity higher ups they're not making the best decisions right now but you can't lie the unity game engine is actually extremely powerful like it gets the job done pretty dang well it just confuses me like why people would use Godot. Like Unity just looks like it has more features. Same with Unreal Engine. I don't understand why people like willingly want to use less features. Like someone please explain to me in the comments. Like I, I genuinely don't get it. Like if you don't have a really good PC, I could see why you might want to use it because I know it is extremely easy to run. And uh, I know like the CEOs and the higher ups and everything, they're putting the engine in a good direction. But at the moment, it just doesn't seem as good as like all the other bigger engines. It just seems like it has less features and is harder to work with. Please, people who use Godot, tell me why you use it and like why it's good because I, I just don't see why not to use like some bigger game engine. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not trying to say the engine's complete dog crap. I, I just saying it's behind. I'm just a little bit confused on the appeal for using it um, when there are just more capable engines out there. And uh, yeah, I'm going to be posting like every other day on here. So uh, leave some questions in the comments below and uh, I'll probably answer them. So yeah, I'll see you if I keep up this schedule. Okay guys, this is the video. Actually, it's a small video and it makes good questions actually. So I wanted myself time to tell time this thing, but there are a few answers in the comment sections. And if you go under here and you can see these answers and people just comment it down with some reasonable and good answers actually, it is free. You keep 100% of your profits and royalties. It is community driven, so the community determines the path that Godot takes. It runs beautifully on any computer so it doesn't take 30 minutes to open a project. In my opinion it is the easiest game engine for beginners to pick up and start to make games. And those are just five of them and they are pretty good. They are pretty good and GDScript actually is pretty easy for beginners and I'd say that. Now from a point of view it says Okay, why using it up? Why using it up? These are a few answers, but nowadays, if you want to work, actually, if you want to work in the gaming industry to look for a, for a position that is opened, no one is asking for Godot devs uh, out there. So if you want to work for a gaming studio, well, using Godot, learning Godot is not your best decision. So just, just learn Unity or Unreal. That's the thing. There are job positions that are open for those engines. Go for them if you want to eat, because obviously you need to work to eat right to pay bills if you are just an indie dev you're doing this like a hobbyist and you aim actually to publish and why not sell your games but you're just a small team you are two or three persons you have your own game studio well because it might be your good choice because it's easy you are entering this new world of game dev and that might be actually a good choice for you now from a point of view of technology fully packed with technology good at is lagging some of those technologies. Unreal and Unity, they have technology. They are investing a lot of money, especially in the real-time rendering. They are investing a lot of money. And Godot probably will never have that kind of technology because this kind of technology that they are deving is proprietary, 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 wait a minute. Okay, this technology is proprietary, so basically they own the rights and they're not going to share any of their code out there. From the point of view of Godot, actually, everything is out there on the sunlight because you can go on GitHub, you can take Godot and you're going to see all his source code and you can change it if you want and you can compile a new version of it, making new features. You can create your own version of Godot if you are able to do that. It's open source and it's not actually aiming to be like Unreal or Unity, but it's it really wants to be out there in the market and make games have accessible to more and more beginners and people. But last but not least, having more features available doesn't mean that actually you're going to use them and doesn't mean actually that it's it's going to be easier to use this and jeans. Having less features might
might be a good thing from a creativity point of view because you find new ways to reach what you want to do with what you have available basically and that was a thing for me with collecting fusion as well because it was quite fun to find solutions of things that were totally missing in the game engine obviously i'm not angry with anyone because it generally asks that and it's a good question more people should be asking themselves about why using godot instead of unity and then unreal engine let me know down in the comment section what do you think about this video is godot actually lacking a lot of features it's either godot going to be you know be something like blender where you can decide actually to use godot instead of those engines because it is as good as those engines i'm Eddie from real have games thank you for watching leave a like and subscribe to the channel turn on the bell notification to not lose any of my future videos and more important keep devin games